What's up everyone? Thanks for coming back to the channel. Aloha. If you folks are new here, please like and subscribe to this video and this channel because today I'm going to take your hand and walk you through the magic and the wonder that is the IWI TS-12 Bullpup Shotgun. We're gonna do kind of a tabletop review here, take it out to the range, we're gonna shoot it. I'm gonna give you folks my unadulterated, unfiltered, and unrated thoughts on this awesome firearm. So first of all, what is the IWI TS-12? The TS-12 is a Tavor. It's built by IWI. TS actually stands for Tavor Shotgun, so I'm told. But the IWI TS-12 is a bullpup shotgun, meaning that everything is moved to the back, which accounts for its very short sight. Your overall length is 28 and a quarter, or a little bit more than 28 and a quarter inches. I think it's 28.3434 inches. Um, but the barrel length is 18 and a half inches, which is pretty awesome. It weighs about eight pounds and it's able to keep that weight down by using a lot of polymer on this firearm, um, although the receiver is aluminum. It looks kind of unwieldy, it looks really heavy, um, and eight pounds is, you know, kind of getting up there, I guess. But for what it is, it's very light and it's balanced really well. With the weight more towards the rear, you're able to tuck this into your shoulder and when you hold this the way that you should with your elbows tucked in, you can hold this while getting fatigued and it's, it's really easy to use. It's very maneuverable, it's very intuitive, even though it looks so crazy and it looks so weird, it looks like a space gun. But once you get your hands on this, even if you've never used this before, I've let some of my buddies shoot it who were, you know, they're new shooters to begin with, it's really intuitive. Everything is real easy to get to and it's, it's a really fun, really awesome firearm. So this is a 12 gauge shotgun with a three inch chamber, meaning that you're able to use both three inch shells, which are the fun ones, and smaller two and three quarter inch shells, which are a little bit less fun, but just as effective if you're using the right shot. What makes this firearm notable is its rotating magazine. It has three tubes on a rotating magazine that enable you to hold 15 rounds of two and three quarter shells. It holds 12 rounds of three inch shell. You wanna make sure that your shells are in spec because if your two and three quarter inch rounds are like two and 13 sixteenths, they're not gonna fit in there and you're gonna be limited to the 12. Keep in mind that mini shot shells do not work on this and the manual states that you should try to run shells that are, I think it was 1100 feet per second um, on this guy. What's really neat about this firearm too is that it comes with an adjustable gas system here that you use the charging handle. You pull the charging handle out and then you're able to switch your gas system from high to low. And the manual says that you want to run it on high for those three inch magnum shells and you just switch it over to low for those two and three quarter inch shells. I have run this both, you know, I have run this on low for both the three inch and the two and three quarter inch shells and I just found that the three inch was a little bit, uh, the recoil was a little bit more Although if you run it on the high and you're using shorter shells of two and three quarter inch, you're gonna run into issues. <laughs> my shotgun, as I said, has been awesome. It has been completely reliable as long as I've had my gas system adjusted the right way. If I have it you know, on high when it should be on low, then I'll get feeding issues and stuff like that. Um, something that's also really cool about this guy is that it comes with QD mounts on both sides and it also comes with the QD swivels, which is awesome. You don't have to go out and buy you know, 20, 40 bucks worth of uh, quick disconnect mounts this for your- This gun is pretty ambidextrous. So you're able to change the charging handle from the left side to the right side. But the thing that's kind of a bummer about this guy is if you are a left-handed shooter, such as myself, the better ones are left-handed shooters, um, you got to send this guy in to get changed over, to get the bolt chains over. It's not like the regular Tavors, like the X95 and the Tavor 7, where you're able to do it yourself. You actually got to send this guy back to IWI and they'll switch the ejection port and everything. So it is an ambidextrous firearm, but it really kind of isn't. You're going to have to send it in to get it 
get it changed over to the left-handed mode. Although if you are able to shoot this left-handed, I have tested it. The shells, you know, they, they kind of get close to your face, but I haven't had any hit me yet. Um, but I usually just use this camera. Right All right, now. so yeah, we're gonna put some rounds through this guy. I'm gonna run some light loads. See, this is low brass, two and three quarter inch. So we're gonna have to turn the gas system down. So we're gonna pull this guy up just like this, go to our gas system, and I already had it turned down, so I'll make pretend like it didn't. There we go. Awesome. So we're gonna load this guy up, and we'll load it up all the way, and just show you guys how awesome this guy can be. So um, you can twin load this as you would in competition. It works pretty easily like that. You cannot quad load this guy. I tried. It does not work at all. But uh, yeah, so we got two in here. So that's four. We got space for one more. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hit my release. Rotate this guy to the next one. Okay, we're going to load this guy up. One, two, three. Four. And then the cool part about this, whenever you run dry, you're going to see that your, your bolt locks open. Once you rotate this guy to a tube that holds ammunition, holds shells, it's going to automatically load it for you. Schwap! You don't have to be charging your bolt to do anything weird. All right, so we're going to load this guy up. Five. Ikahi. Iluo. Ikolu. Ah, that's just... Hawaiian language lesson for the day. All right, we're out. So let's uh, let's let's throw, a bu let's throw a Bucky in there. Awesome. All right. So let's. Uh, I got my EOTech um, zeroed in. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna do a box drill, a box drill with a shotgun <laughs> with these two targets. And I guess I'll try for that far one out there. But I don't think that we're gonna be able to shoot that far because because of the spread. So here we go. Yeah, this is a real smooth action. I like it. There you go. Okay, we're hot. These are the sluggies. So say, say I've got some buck in here and I'm like, oh no, I need a sluggerino because something's far away or something. I just go, oh, take out the bucky. We don't need that anymore. That sucks. We want a sluggy. That was the same shell, but we're going to pretend that it wasn't. Okay, so <laughs> there we go. All right, I only got a couple shells left, so we're going to go ahead and just run these guys through here. Rotate this guy. All right, we'll just kind of show you folks again how how awesome it is to be able to load and shoot at the same time. So, there we go. Now we're hot. I got some shells on my waist here. So, say we're clearing a room or something. Okay, we come inside. Oh, no. Stuff's going down. TS12, what I like about it, this thing is loads of fun to shoot. It's, 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 you're gonna be dumping shells and you're gonna be like super poor after all because it's just a lot of fun to shoot. I really enjoy its short uh, overall length. It's very maneuverable and it's really intuitive. It, look, it looks sketchy, it looks really crazy. You look at it, you're like, what is this? And sometimes I find myself, when I'm out here at the range and I have all my firearms li lined up, I'm looking, I'm like, oh, where'd my gun go? And I don't immediately think of this as a firearm because it has such a unique look and it looks so weird. So I like that. It's really cool. Um, like I said, it's very intuitive. The magazine release works really well. The system is, you know, you can you can turn it clockwise or counterclockwise, whatever works for you. Um, it's just a really well, it's a well-built firearm. It's, 
it's not as heavy as you think it was and like i said before it's very well balanced and i also really like the capability of you to load your shells from either side you can go right side you can go left side and even though this is semi-automatic and you have all your shells stacked up in these magazines when you're using it you have the ability to load and keep moving which gives you kind of the best of both worlds you have the pump the world of the pump being able to shoot one load one and you also have the quick you know the quick fire capability of the of the uh, semi-auto what i don't like about this guy i don't like that you have to send it back to iwi to get it changed over they, they market this as an ambidextrous firearm so it should be an ambidextrous firearm you should be able to just do this at home but the fact that i have to send this in to get the ejection switched over if i want to shoot this left side and also the fact that you have to pay for to pay it to pay like 150 bucks or something that sucks i don't really like that um everything else about this guy is good price of this i really scored this i scored this for less than a thousand dollars which is kind of a the universe smiling down on me um i think the msrp for this guy is fourteen hundred dollars but now i don't know if it's because of the covid case all this crazy stuff going on i look online and they're like over two grand sometimes like 1700 lowest up to two and pass so i maybe wait a little bit to get this guy but um i really like it one more for the boys All right, the IWI TS-12, would I recommend this guy? Absolutely. If you're into it, try and pick one up. Maybe not right now, because they're ultra expensive, but if you ever get a chance to get your hands on this, I guarantee you that you will have a great time. All right, hope you guys had, a, had fun with us here at the ring, and I'll see you folks next time. Thanks. Aloha.